I'm this little guy who walk around on this earth and trying to find the place where picture is waiting for him. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Tab Sleeve Clover, and today we have another Canon of Design quick tips. This is a video on Joseph Kudelka. I hope I pronounced that right. My name is Joseph. Joseph what? Jo Kudelka. But he's a Magnum photographer and he's one of the best ones out there. He's still alive. I was extremely lucky that I grew up in Czechoslovakia, in a country which was not very rich, a country where not much freedom, and a country in which I couldn't travel. And you can check out Magnum Photos. Their website's full of awesome, amazing photos. But today we're gonna cover how he uses figure ground relationship and also aspect of view. So in this first one, I just wanna show how he's capturing it and then we'll, we'll see the same technique in a lot of the other ones. We can see nice figure ground relationship and aspect of view and I'll diagram that. So the side profile of the face is more descriptive than the back of the head or the front of the face. If this was like a silhouette type of situation here, we can totally tell that this is a person's face with the hat and everything else. So it's a very descriptive position for the face. That's why we call it an aspect of view. Just like when someone's walking and their limbs are spread, we can identify them easier. So right now, uh, interesting thing about this is he is above this man's head and he's shooting down and he's doing that because this background right here the road is light and the the guy's body his clothes and his hat are dark so in order to get a nice figure ground relationship he had to get a little bit higher because this dark area here would coincide with this dark area in the background and we wouldn't have nice figure ground relationship so what i think he's doing is either this guy is really short but what i think he's doing is he's raising up his camera kind of like this and he's taking the shot why do i think that because i've done that also in a shot where i couldn't get nice figure ground relationship i i'm six four and i was standing on the curb and this guy was talking on the phone with the striped shirt and then the crosswalk in the background so what i did was i raised my camera up a little bit away from my eye not this high but maybe like a foot above my head and then paid attention to the tilt of the camera couldn't tell if it was straight until i actually got it developed and saw that it worked out but so that's what i think he's doing is he's raising the camera up just a bit in hopes that the figure and relationship will improve and it'll capture the, the shot but you can see it right here it's not perfectly straight but let's look at a couple others so he raised above this one he could be a little bit taller than this guy the uh, ground he's standing on could be higher but we can clearly see that he's raised above this guy just a bit to capture a nice figure ground relationship so if he was lower this guy's hat would coincide with this and that'd be a bad figure on relationship we got another one this is from his gypsies series i think but he's clearly above this boy here and if you watch the most recent saison analyzation i mentioned that most paintings and photos the way they capture perspective is things rise up into the frame so we see nice figure garden relationship on this boy here separated shapes an aspect of view of this person nice figure ground relationship except for the heads colliding just a little bit with some dark values here and same with this one but pretty much nice figure ground relationship all around and then he's uh working with balance too this, this boy acts as the fulcrum of the image the center vertical he's balancing these two figures and the road with these figures on the right so we've got a fulcrum and then nice balance left to right and then if you really want to get rid of the background to crop it but you have to shoot it from from this distance because this is the correct all right so this one is another one where he's above the gentleman here he's in handcuffs got a nice figure grind relationship here he's got this arabesque coming through on the road but I got to looking closer to this, and I was like, oh, this guy's in handcuffs, but all the cops are here in the background, and this one's even taking photos. Got an old camera here. And then all these people are watching, so I was like, well, is this staged or something? And then I looked up on their website, and this was actually a, it's like a recreation of a prison scene or something like that. So could be part of a movie or something. He's got a good composition in the, the middle here. Nice figure on relationship. But then you start looking at the edges. And edge flicker is when there's high contrast near the edge. And it pulls attention away from the subject. But this is a tough 
tough one to not get edge flicker. The tough part about this is he's got high contrast here, and then he's got high contrast here, and then there's a little bit here, but who knows who's standing here. It could be someone he's trying to cut out. It could be all kinds of different situations, but it's a tough one to try and not get edge flicker. So I think he did pretty good considering what he's got available. So a lot of the master painters, if they do have edge flicker, it's balanced from left to right. So he's got a little bit of visual tension. It's not all the way on the edge, but it's visual tension here, high contrast near the edge. And then he's got this guy, his hands cut off and part of his head and stuff. So I was thinking, well, why didn't he maybe put the camera to the, a little to the left to capture this whole guy? And it could have been because of this person, he's trying to cut out this person completely. And then if he did, then he'd have like a lot of edge flicker on the right side, the upper right side. So that's a tough one, but at least the edge flicker is balanced there. I'm not a very courageous man. I, on the contrary, I think probably people who saw me taking pictures, they said you behave as a complete idiot. You were out of your mind. And I, I must say I'm happy that I behave as an idiot. <laughs> and I was out of the mind. Okay, let's go to this one. This one's a nice one. He's obviously above the dog and it's a nice aspect of view. Can't get any better figure ground relationship than that one. <laughs> <laughs> the, the sliding on the eyes, the god dogs are running, you are, you are falling down too. Uh, you know, it's something there. And we've got this. Also, he's above this person, working with nice figure ground relationship. They're on a nice blank backdrop. Like uh, Annie Leibowitz, she uses blank canvases in the background. This is serving the same purpose as that, providing a nice figure ground relationship for these people. It's also working with the decisive moment timing this ball in the air. So it's got a nice figure grinding relationship up there. And there's, all, there's also a circular motion going around here. Pretty cool shot. And the horse is back here with a nice aspect of view, nice figure grinding relationship, and balancing the image also. I, uh, I think probably I get involved with gypsies because of the music, yeah. You feel that there is something there, but you have so many elements. How can you control a situation like that? Then we've got this one, it's the last one, and he's above his hand. He's got a nice dark figure on a light background, and then he's capturing the city streets in the background. Nice balance, nice figure around relationship, nice moment in time there. Really cool shot, I think. So uh, that's it for Joseph Kudelka. I hope you enjoyed that little quick video. And remember when you're shooting street photography or any type of photography or creating painting, cinematography, anything, you can use figure around relationship aspect of view and get that visual clarity up to par start working these techniques like the other pros and with enough practice you'll be a master yourself so if you want to suggest another photographer painter cinematographer uh, leave a comment down below and that'll let me know what you guys are interested in also if you see one in the comments that you like you can put a little like by it and that'll prioritize which ones i do first thanks a lot guys thanks so much for the support i really appreciate all of you guys and i'll talk to you later